okay hello guys i am back with the another fidelung algorithm for today today's topic is the first come first serve which is called the fcfs schedule algorithm so if you heard that the fcfs first come first serve that means when this process is came first it will serve first so there you can see something like that the simplest scheduling algorithm so it is easy and managed by a fifo qa so you guys i think know that what is fifo fifo means the first in first out so let's see guys so there is a problem so the problem is the average waiting time often quite long the process p1 p2 and p3 came and their bus time is 24 p2 3 and p3 is 3 so if we going to use the fcfs so for this the fcfs we have to take the first p1 process and after co completing the p1 process we will work with the p2 and after that we will try to use the p3 so what will be the there is some waiting time and the average waiting time and turn around time so waiting time is that uh, when the p1 process is came to play so it was almost the zero so p1 don't have to wait any seconds and when the p2 is coming came so after finishing the p1 process p2 can be start so finishing so bus time of p1 is 24 so we have to uh, wait 24 for second for the p2 so that is the that is the waiting time calculation for p1 p2 and the as like the another process so that is the so let's see the another example of this so let's see then the another process is actually sorry the another example of that the now here the p2 and p3 and after that the p1 process coming so what we will take first execute first p2 then p3 and after that the p1 so here is the waiting time is less than the first example so now now going to now let's see how to do this code on c programming so this is the code for fcfs in c language so i we are doing when using the header file include.stdio.is and include.conio.is i think conio will not be mandatory but i am taking this for my safety so yeah, this integer main integer n p j xl j is not needed here v with v with the maximum 50 v's and array you <coughs> hope you can know that wh what is array and after uh, and after that we, i am taking wti which is the integer variable w equal to 0 we fix the uh, value of w and taking some float type variable because we are going to calculate the average time and the turn around time of it so in there you can see this there is a print of the enter the process now so if when uh, you try to take entry so you have to give the process now so in this for loop i am trying uh, in this for loop i am trying to take the bus time for process is process and in the scan f i am taking this process bus time from the user and after that the process can be okay just they are process and i am actually it is using for creating a table and i am executing the another for loop which is the calculation of the process bus time and turn around time and what is turn around time turn around time is the sum of waiting time and the bus time so there is i am taking that 
T and W is the waiting time and V of I is the bus time of is uh, of one process. So his here there I am just printing this this process value and after that for the average I am taking this uh, storing in a variable the it, this is for the turn and time and okay and this is for the waiting time and this i and here i am calculating the waiting time so waiting time is the uh, time when the you have to wait we have to wait for the next process so here the average and average and I, last hour uh, i am just printing the average time so let's see guys if I execute this what will happen so okay so this is taking more time okay so now black skin is climbing so as see earlier let's see this enter the process now so I put 3 enter enter the bus time for process 1 so I put 6 enter and process for 2 4 enter and process for 3 is 2 so enter that so this is the calculation the process 1 bus time is 6 process 2 bus time is 4 i entered that and process 3 bus time is 2 i am doing that so waiting time waiting time is 0 seconds because p1 is the first process there is no need to wait for this and turnaround time i told you guys that earlier that turnaround time is the sum of the bus time and the waiting time so let's see then there is the for second process bus time is 4 so waiting time is 6 after because if we not finish the process 1 then we can't start the second process so that second process waiting time is 6 and the turnaround time will be 6 plus 4 equal to 10 and as like that the 3 for 3 there is the waiting time so here is the waiting time is the 6 plus 4 why 6 plus 4 because we have to finish first process and second process after that second process we can start the third process so for this we have to wait 10 seconds and the turnaround time as I, as I told you earlier that is the sum of the bus time and the waiting time so 10 plus 2 is 12 and the average waiting time is 5.333 and the average turnaround time is 9.33 so the summation this and divided it the process now so 10 plus 6 plus 0 is 16 and divided by 3 is 5.333 and the turnaround time the summation there and 6 plus 10 is 16 and 12 is 28 divided by 3 and that was 9.333 so thank you guys hope you like this subscribe to my channel and share it my video okay see you later bye